All right, guys, I have been working on a project. I am big into 3D modeling. I absolutely love it. At the moment, I am currently trying to 3D model an RC car. So far, I have the chassis and uh, the steering arms. This car is going to be very, very basic. And, uh, yeah, just going to keep it simple for my first time around. Uh, I'm going to work on the rear end. It's going to be a motor with a gear. Uh, and the drive shafts are going to have a direct gear drive. So it's basically going to be motor to axle. <laughs> There's going to be no form of differential or anything. It's just going to be solid live axle. And we're going to keep it simple uh, for our first time around. And we're going to see how it does. So I'm going to get back to work because I have quite a bit of it to do still. And I think I got a name for this little guy that we're going to call it. I'm thinking Scuttles, because it's going to be kind of cute, and it's just going to kind of scuttle along. Uh, my plan is to run them on some Fortec tires. Um, but let's get this project finished before I start talking about any plans that I have. All right, guys. Wish me luck. All right, so we have progress underway. Uh, I still need my caliper so I can make my front mounts to hold bearings. Uh, the back, I'm probably going to have to redesign at some point so we can actually accept bearings, or I'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way and run that way. So I have mounted the rear axle, which is one piece. Wheel hex, gears, and axle are all one. That is going to be the motor gear. That is going to set in there, and that will hold it down. Worst case scenario, I gotta redesign this to get a bearing around it. I uh, can't really get a bearing around that either way, but you know, it will have to do. We've made a lot of progress, and I still have a lot farther to go, but we're getting very close to having something that's half decent. 